Paul Neal is a defender, a clean sheet so always a big big positive but against the, the top goal scorers in this league it's even better. Yeah, uh, coming into the game we knew what their strengths uh, and weaknesses were but you know they're very strong, they're doing well in the league, they're coming off back of a good run uh, so we knew we need to come here, we'd be resolute, be defending from the front, uh, we've worked on uh, ourselves this week and them, uh, both tactics of both teams, and you know I think we we've done quite well. I think if you look at the, the whole grand scheme of things, I think we're, we feel quite unlucky not to have got three points. I think um, we probably had the better chances. Kane's one from where I was standing right behind him, it looked in. I've tried to follow in, and as it went down, then we had some other good chances as well. Um, but you know I think coming here it's a good performance a uh, good away performance and if you can't take the three points you always say come away with at least a point yeah I mean, I mean Ross didn't have too much to do actually in the end did he in terms of that you certainly tested their keeper more than, than, than Ross was just tested yeah no I didn't think Ross had too much to do and like you said we worked on uh, a defensive unit um, as a team as a back four as a midfield this week but we've also worked on going forward and I think you could you could see that an uh, abundance out there you know we create some really good chances we had some really good passages to play um, from the back not that we ever switch off but it was good to sometimes you know it was nice to watch there was one I think 15 minutes to go and if I had it turned into a goal it would have been unbelievable so I think you can see the hard work that we're putting in on the training ground uh, it's coming to fruition uh, well on the pitch yeah a lot of talk before the game the lads saying what a great week you'd had on the pitch on, on the training pitch this week as you say I mean you know just a little bit more clinical in the final third in the end you know and there are so many games recently where there have been draws and you could have turned them into victories yeah listen uh, the people who the chances are falling to it's not just on the strikers they help us keep clean sheets so we also need to chip in and help everyone and the whole team to, to score goals but I can say that the strikers, midfielders, the wingers, you know what I mean, there's no one, they're staying back every day after training, they're working on they're finishing their technique, everything. So it's not for the one to try and um, just sometimes you just need that little bit of luck, don't you? Um, and it will fall for them. Perseverance always, the outcome's always good, so they will keep persevering. And as a team we will and the results will come, the goals will come and fingers crossed they come in a flurry. As a team today, you defended well, you went forward well, but that partnership between you and Big Tom today, Tom Davis, I mean, he was a colossus and he, he calls for every ball, doesn't he? I mean, you know where you are with Tom, certainly when you're playing alongside him. Yeah, obviously I've got to know Tom now, um, obviously it's assigned, we started to uh, room together as well, so we get on quite well on and off the pitch, um, but you know, he, he's had a not that he, he's had a very good career so far, um, he's had promotions, he's played League 2, League 1, and you know what you're getting with Tom. He's a big, hard defender, uh, good on the ball, but airily, very, very good and vocal. Um, and it was good to play against him. Play, play against. Sorry, beside him today. I've, I've played. I've played with him in pre-season. I've played with him in in-house games. Um, I came on obviously last week with, uh, Wim with Wimbledon. And, you know, it, it's good to play with him. I like the partnership. Um, but there's what five centre halves there, all vying for the places. So anyone, they're, we're all vying for the same spot so it's it's a tough tough ask yeah, it is a tough gig for you as, as defenders at the moment isn't it but that just sort of shows the quality if you like when people like yourself and Tom are in there and you, you show how high a standard you can reach too yeah exactly listen I think the whole team players anyone on the bench everyone works hard every day in training as a footballer you want to be playing don't you everyone wants to be in a starting 11 unfortunately that can't be the case but it doesn't stop everyone working hard and uh, if you're out the team, you're pushing whoever it is. If it, it was Jordan uh, D for a little while, you're pushing them as hard as you can to get back into the team. And football swings and roundabouts, and it's all it's all about working hard. But as a as a five, we all get along really well. We're all understanding of the concept of going out there, and it's two two players who are going to be playing. So. It's, uh, it's good to come in and to get 90 minutes under my belt, it's nice. And I was asking the boss as well about the, uh, the vocal impact of people who are, who are loud like yourself, you know, Tom, with your experience, and how that rubs off on young players as well, because you can drive them, can't you, as well, you know, because you, you've got that little bit of experience. Um, yeah, like, I think in the first half, a couple of little balls uh, in terms of going over eating, but that's just a little bit of experience, you're just speaking to them, telling them not to worry. So do little things that can help. I know when I was young, 
and a lot of experienced lads help me. Um, and it's not even that they can they can help you, Tom. Tom may help me at times. I may help him. It's it's about helping each other out there. Yeah, with a little bit of experience and a little bit of knowledge and know-how, you can give them little bits of feedback and how they might work out different things. But as a team, we try and help each other out there as much as we can. But um, we're all in it together. Fine margins, isn't it? I mean, as I say, you know, you, you look at the stats, and you know, you're so many games without a win, but you've been in games, you've been close to winning games. You know, one goal here and there can make all the difference in terms of that, and you're still not too far away from the player spots, even in those circumstances. No, I always think if you have the performances, the results will follow. Um, if the performances aren't there, your dents probably start to worry. But I think, as you can see from the last however many games is it that people think we haven't won it the performances are there the stats are there to show it um, and it's just about the ball dropping and then once that happens you can see you can go on a, on a great run so it's just about every day like, like I said everyone keeps saying about this week get in hard weeks training every day that we're in everyone's pushing each other and the results will come um, we're as a, as a club and as a team as imagine as coach that we're quite calm about it we know that they will come I think it's still very, very early in the season. But I think, I don't know how many games, but I always think after Christmas there's a flurry of games and it's the middle of Jan is when you, you might start looking a little bit, but it's still very, very early and I'm mature to be looking at anything, I think. And over 350 fans here you know, as well, coming on a, a cold day in December sort of thing as well and looking, getting behind you, you can see their reaction at the end, they were very pleased with the performance. I mean, you know, that can lift you, particularly in, when you come to tough places like this. Oh no, 100%, you could see when we came out and with chances in the second half and I always say the fans are, are a big, big help for us. They travel in their numbers, a cold day when I'm, it's probably rather as people might say, it's sit at home, watch the World Cup, but no, you know, they come in the numbers. Everyone knows Tramier fans are very, very loyal, good fans, um, travel in numbers and they're very loud as well. There was times where I don't know, I kind of heard at the end 5,000 and we had 350, I could hear them more at times than the, the other 4,500 there. So. Uh, you've got to thank the fans paying hard earned money to come and travel down three hours to come and watch us play so it's always in our interest to, um, to send them home happy send them home knowing that we put everything into that game and put everything out left everything out on the pitch for them because that's all they want you know, you know from the fans all they really want is hard work determination and um, to give everything you've got